We're going to use this Schneider TM241 PLC to talk to this Phoenix Contact PLC Next over Ethernet IP. I logged into my PLC Next at its default IP address of 1.10 and I've changed it to 4.10 to match my other devices on the 4 subnet. I've gone to the easy configuration and I'm logging in. I verified that under Ethernet IP the service is activated. That was the default. I've also verified my firewall is stopped. Now we're looking at the PLC Next Engineer programming software and under Help PLC Next Technology Info Center it'll bring up this web page talking about Ethernet IP, the ports required to be open for your firewall, and some more information about the Ethernet IP variables that are in the PLC Next including the default fixed length of 256 bytes for the input and output data. Back in PLC Next Engineer, you can see that I've got my IP address of my controller, I've got a project and I'm online with it. Under Ethernet IP, there's some vendor device type product revision that you can optionally verify from your master device. The default EIP update rate is a bit slow, so here I've created a task called EIP update and I've set it to 10 milliseconds. Now under Axio line F on the left side, I have the update task which says by default it's 50 milliseconds and that's the one that updates the Ethernet IP IO so I'm going to set it to my EIP update task which was 10 milliseconds. Here under my Axioline controller in the tree view on the left I've gone to the data list typed in EIP into the search box and it's brought up all my EIP variables including the arrays with the inputs and outputs from the scanner. Here in a program I created I add a couple of lines of structured text one so that I can monitor the first incoming register from Ethernet IP and setting some data into the first outgoing register. I have connected to the controller, wrote and start the project, and am monitoring. Now time to set up our scanner. I now have my Schneider project for my TM241. I have my Ethernet port set up on the same subnet. I've added the industrial Ethernet manager. And now I'll add a generic Ethernet IP device. And here in the PLC Next device, I've set the IP address to that of the PLC Next. I can optionally check these parameters to verify that they match within the PLC Next. And remember that came from the controller settings Ethernet IP. Now under my PLC Next device, under connections, I'm going to add a new connection. In my new connection, I set the consuming instance ID to 64, which translates to 100 decimal if you use it in another device um, that uses decimal and then producing to 6e which translates to 110 and then I set my byte counts for the incoming and outgoing to 256 it's a fixed value in the PLC next and I did my update rate at 10 milliseconds as I set it up in the PLC next I logged into my Schneider controller did a full download and the bus came up immediately here you can see the 1234 coming in from the PLC next and I preloaded data into the output arrays 255. Now 255 in hexadecimal is FF, so you can see that data coming in here from the input array. So we're up and running.